Hello everyone and welcome to SE Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I'm your host, Software Engineering Geek, and this show we're going to be talking about GitHub. So sit back and let the knowledge flow in because SE Geek begins now. Okay, in this uh, episode, we're going to be talking about GitHub. Uh, this is just going to be a basic uh, whirlwind tour, just you know, showing you within the context of uh, the tutorials, tutorials I've done so far. Um, so here's GitHub, and what GitHub is is it's a website uh, that hosts uh, repositories, and you can actually host. Uh, you know, open source repositories here for free, uh, up to a certain limit. Uh, beyond that, you have to pay for it. Uh, also, uh, you can do, if you want to pay for it, you can do private repositories. Or if you want to pay a lot of money, uh, you can get a actual in-house copy of GitHub on an appliance and, you know, run GitHub within your company. So what GitHub is, is it's actually a you know it kind of a it's it's a website that allows you to you know collaborate and actually uh manage get so right now this is my uh repos my actual github account and i have two repositories here which are uh two uh open source projects that i kind of plan on doing. I haven't really gotten too much into these yet, but I'll I'll show you around one of them. And actually you can see my history up here. So we'll go into Degenerator, which is uh a an open source project that I plan to be doing, which is basically a data generator. It's gonna be a Grails app and as I'm talking about Grails I'll show you this probably in more detail uh you know later on uh this was you know the first time i just started playing with groovy and grails so if you actually uh you know look this uh re you know particular repository up and actually look at the commits it you know you'll notice the fact that i i seem to be doing a lot of things the java way and i didn't really get too far into it other than i just generated grails cuz actually off this I went into just doing a lot of, uh, you know, playing around with Groovy and didn't come back to this too much. But anyways, here we go. We have, uh, you know, the files here in the file directory. We can see, like, the last commit message that's related to, you know, these files. Uh, if we go here, we can click on commits and see the commit history. And, uh, you know, over here you can see the SHA-1s. Um, Let's see, I think that's copy it to the clipboard. If we click on a commit, we can see a nice color-coded diff. Um, and we can, I believe you can actually annotate this with uh, comments as well. So this is, you know, very nice for collaboration. Um, you can actually, we can look at the source file. Oh, actually that just brings us down to the source. Uh, let's see view file this actually gives me the raw file I can click on blame and I can you know just like I've shown you it within uh, oh, get itself like get blame you know very similar here you know uh, from get GUI blame you know you see you know the commit the actual person who did it and you know you can click on this and go you know, to the actual commit, um, go back. So let's see what else. Uh, you can see branches here. We only ha I only have one branch. Um, and something else that you can see is uh, we can uh, you can fork. So in the GitHub world, uh, instead of branching, what you usually do is you fork a repository, which gives you a whole copy of that repository, all branches included, and then you can do whatever you want on them, 
and make changes and it's you know your copy of the repository and then if you have something that you want to actually share with someone you can do a pull request which uh, you know you click here and say you know well actually I, I wouldn't want to do this uh, it's, you know it, it's that oops because you know it, there's nothing really to pull right here but if you know I had forked someone else's uh, repository, I could do a pull request and you know tell them, you know what I was thinking and you know here's you know why you should pull uh, my you know particular you know branch and merge that into your repository and they can either accept it or deny it. Uh, you can also watch. There's admin. Um, you can, you know, obviously I have no pull requests on this particular repository because I kind of left it in a just semi-started state. Uh, but other than that, other things you have are issues, which uh, basically this is like, a, you know, kind of like think of this as a bug system built into uh, your Git repository or, you know, just things that, you know, I made issues of, you know, everything that I kind of want to do with this and you know you can go into these you can add details people can add comments and then you can close an issue when you know you think you finished the issue um and let's see you know you can see issues that are assigned to me you can look at closed issues there are no closed issues because i opened 13 and i never closed any <laughs> uh it also has a place for a wiki so you can create a wiki, which will be, you know, have just uh, information. This is, you know, basically me just thinking about, you know, my, what I was, it, it was what I was thinking with this particular uh, oh, project. So someday I will actually come back to this. Um, you know, with these, you know, you can see the pages you have, hit history, and you can actually get get access to the, the wiki and pull that down, uh, which is kind of interesting. So uh, apparently, you can actually push and pull the wiki because that the wiki itself is just a Git repository. Uh, we can look at stats and graphs, something actually I've never looked at before. But apparently, I, I did a lot here, a little here, and then nothing else. So traffic, probably not a whole lot. Yeah. Contributors, me. So let's go back to the code. Uh, up here, uh, you can see, uh, you know, there's uh, different ways that you can get access to this. Uh, SSH, which gives you this. So you could copy this uh, and do like a git clone, you know, this particular URL. Or you could do HTTP. Or you could do, uh, you know, git read only. You know, it gives you a lot of options. And when you're the owner of a Git repository, uh, you actually have, you know, access to, you know, if you want to make this uh, public or not. Or, you know, I think mine, because, you know, the way I've set up, anyone can get access to it. Um you know, they can't obviously administrate it, but, you know, they can clone it down and do whatever they want, pretty much. So, and you can have, you know, as many repositories as you want. And, you know, if you actually get lost, you can click on help and say, you know, how do we set up get? And actually, it'll, you know, show you, you know, how to set it up. You know, this is one way. Uh... Let's see how to set up the SSH keys. And this is showing me all through Linux, so I wonder if they have a Windows tutorial. Yeah, Windows. So, and here they show you, you know, msys get and, you know, setting that up. And, you know, this shows you how to actually set up uh, SSH keys so you can actually commit uh, to your uh, repositories in GitHub. Uh, through SSH, so it's you know it's secure that way, um, and you know it takes you through that step by step. So you know it has very very nice help from what I've seen. Uh, I wouldn't use it too much other than just to remember how to do SSH keys. Uh, 
you know, because otherwise I'd probably just Google that. But, uh, you know, it's it's a very nice tool for using and collaborating with Get, especially if you're using it for open source. Uh, if you can be lucky enough to have your company have, uh, you know, get it in-house, you know, that's, you know, w would actually definitely help you quite a bit. Uh, if you're not that lucky, I would say uh, the next best thing would be to uh, get get web set up, which I'll show you that in a, another tutorial, how to set that up. Uh, uh, that and or I think it's called uh, Ghetto Lite, which is a management system, uh, which would give you management features, which... I've never set that up, so I'm probably not going to be doing a video on it. But you can, you know, Google that, and you know, if you want to figure out some of the tutorials, I've I've seen various ones. I don't think it's that hard to set up, from what I've seen. So that's GitHub. Uh, you know, very nice uh, website, nice tool. Uh, if you're into Git, uh, you know, this is definitely uh, a nice you know, way in for you probably, you know, actually I probably should have showed this to start, but, uh, I started with the command line. That's the way I am. Oh, well, but that's pretty much all for now. I'll see you next time.